All right, we're back. Um, sometimes it's easier to make multiple videos so that later when you're trying to find one, um, it's easier to find. So here I have 5, 5B, five and this time I notice I have a division sign. So I'm going to say, well, that's okay. I know it's division. I also know that that's the same thing as just taking the second fraction and rewriting it with multiplication after flipping it. So x squared, first I'm just writing the first one down. I'm going to now be multiplying 6x plus 42 over x squared minus x minus 12. You notice I just, um, just flip-flopped those. So what I want to do next is go back to those steps from the first page, factor the top, factor the bottom on both equations. And on the first one I'm saying uh, I think that's going to be x minus 4 and x minus 5 because negative 4 times negative 5 is a positive 20. If I add them together, that's negative 9. The bottom one, how about 3 and 7? And let's see, it looks like I can take a 6 out of the top, so I'm going to make that 6 parentheses x plus 7. And as far as the bottom goes, that looks like a negative 4 and a positive 3. Okay, these have a lot of factoring in them, warning you now. Now from here, I can just start canceling away the things that are the same, like this x minus 4, or this um, x plus 7. You'll notice I am not canceling out the x plus 3's. Why not? Because you can only cancel them out if one's on top and one's on bottom. And unfortunately, they're both on the bottom. So what does that mean? It means my answer is the stuff that's left, 6 x minus 5 times, or over, I should say, x plus 3 times x plus 3. And actually, can I cheat? Can I be lazy? And can I instead write write it once and just put a squared. Okay, of course then you'd find out what your bottom can't equal. Um, I just want to do one more example of this division and then we'll, we'll call it good for this section. Here's the problem. I see this has a whole bunch of fraction lines and that is very confusing looking. Well, here's what you want to do. Recognize that like 3 fourths divided by 1 half is the same thing as 3 fourths divided by 1 half, right? Can't I just rewrite it that way? So do that. x minus 2 squared over 2 parentheses x squared minus 5x plus 4 into parentheses, should have made that line a little longer, being divided by x squared minus 4 and 4x minus 10. So now things get a little more interesting. Um, go ahead and flip that second fraction to show it as multiplication. So now I have parentheses x minus 2 quantity squared over 2 parentheses x squared minus 5x plus 4 times 4x minus 10, x squared over 4. See how I just flipped those? Now you can solve the same. Um, this one does have a funky factoring one in there, so I'm going to go ahead and solve this all the way. The x squared, I, I'm sorry, x minus 2 quantity squared, I'm going to go ahead and write that fully to be the x minus 2, x minus 2, because that might help me visualize when things cancel later. And now I have 2... Let's see, what do you think that is? Maybe negative 4, negative 5? I'm sorry, negative 4, negative 1. Now the top looks like I can take a 2 out to be x minus 5. Uh, 
I'm sorry. That should have been a 2x minus 5. Okay, track from there. The bottom is the funky factoring one um, because there's no middle piece, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I can factor that. But remember, isn't this the same thing as x squared plus 0x minus 4? Which means a positive 2 and a negative 2 are the things that, um, that, that negative 2, positive 2, add to 0, but multiply to a negative 4. So I am going to go ahead and write those. So now I can start canceling things. yippee ki -yay. Goodbye, twos. Goodbye, x minus two. Notice I only cancel one and one, though. You can only cancel one at a time. And it doesn't look like anything else cancels. So that means my final answer is x minus two. Two x minus five. Over x minus four. X minus one. X plus two. That is your simplified answer. Kind of a lot of work for not very much to cancel, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, that is the last part of this section.